Now, as we have done uh, this thing, the crushing and grinding, you know the concentration of ore, you know the oxidation, you know the reduction now and the last step which is used is called as refining, right. So, what is actually the refining? The refining is actually done to remove the residual impurities. Suppose after reduction we get a metal but still that metal is not pure it contains certain kind of residual impurities. So we have we, we can refine it right. So that means we can remove the traces of impurities also if it is present along with the metal or what we can do is uh, in refining we can convert it into ready to use form. Because suppose if I need the, the aluminium foil, so that means I am not going to get the aluminium from the market or I am not going to make a, a certain kind of sheets through it, I just need an aluminium foil. So I want that the foil should be uh, you can say available in the market so that I can go and just buy the foil. Uh, it is not that I have to just um, uh, convert that aluminium metal into foil which is not feasible. So that means we need uh, a certain kind of process in which we can just convert into the ready to use form and that can be used or picked up by the uh, you can say the manufacturers or the industries whichever they are in which form they need to use that right. So that is that that comes under the refining. So there are various methods which are employed for the refining. One is liquidation method, other is oxidation method and the last is electrolytic refining. Right. So, what we do in liquidation method? It is very simple method. What we do? We take an hearth, a slope like this. What we, we just uh, keep the metal which is obtained as far up to the reduction. And as we know, it con contains the impurities, the residual impurities along. So, suppose it has the impurities also along sticking to its surface. So, what we do? We just heat with the help of burner. And as we know that the metals have lower melt uh, this thing the melting point as compared to the uh, impurities. So what will happen when we will just apply it with heat the metal is going to melt and when it will melt so it will just flow down from the earth. But the impurities the, as they have the melting point higher than the metals so that means they are not going to melt and they will stay behind on the earth. So, here the metals metal flow and the impurities are left behind. So, this is actually the liquidation method. Now, the second method is the oxidation method. What is oxidation? Sometimes along with the metal certain impurities are present which can be easily removed by just combining uh, them with the oxygen because they their oxides are more stable. So, all the volatile impurities so which are present along sulfur, phosphorus or any other. So, what they can do we can just oxidize it they just readily com convert into the oxygen and they are expelled in the form of gases and what we are left with we are left with our desired product that are that is our metal right. Third is the electrolytic refining. So, first of all you should know see the we did the process electrolytic reduction as well right. After electrolytic reduction whenever we do electrolytic reduction the last step is not required because after electrolytic reduction the metal which we obtain is 99.9% .9 pure. But still if in case the impurities persist we can just uh, use the method electrolytic refining which will I will be explaining you now that is the electrolytic refining. It is again the refining that means the removal of impurities. Uh, on this thing, the residual impurities by using the process electrolysis. It also serves as one of the application of the electrolysis. So, just look at the board, I am explaining electrolytic refining.